I've decided to create a series of videos that does some simple how-to's to help you with specific things. Uh, first thing I want to talk about is how we make something move. So I'll call this my movement video because I know I've gotten a lot of questions on movement so and this will be important for probably most games that we make. You usually have to have a character move or something. So first, let's see, how would we make him move? Walk one side of the screen and make him look like he's moving because we can see this cat here has two costumes. And if you go back and forth between them, you can see, well, you can make him sort of look like he's walking. So to make him look like he's walking, let's have an event that starts when he's clicked and he'll make a motion. Let's have him move, well, let's, put it, let's put this in a loop so we can have him move continuously. We're gonna have him move, say, let's do, this can change too, because you'll see in a minute. It'll change the pace. So forever, he's gonna move five steps, and then something's going to happen. He's going to change his costume to the next costume. So when I put this in, every five steps, he's going to change back and forth to the next costume. So let's see how that looks. Yep, he looks. He's changing every five steps. He goes back and forth in the next costume. Now, I didn't get a chance to show you this. Um, if you right, if you right-click your sprite, you can check the info. You should always rename your sprite. But you can also make him. I'll stop this. Have different options here. This rotation style. You can make him when he does something, when he hits something, and I'll add uh, if on edge bounce. So now whenever he hits an edge, he's gonna bounce off it and go the other way. So let's try this again. See, he bounces back and forth. And now if I have this on a rotation style, see I click that, he'll flip over every time he turns. He hits something, he'll flip over and go back the other way opposite. If I have it on a linear style, a straight line back and forth, he will just stay upright. And if I have it on the C, if I click this little circle here in rotation style, he will do the moonwalk back and, and then forwards. Now he seems to be going really fast. I'll change this back to straight. Really fast, right? So we can change a couple of things here. We can make him take w fewer steps between each costume change, but these are going to go too fast. So let's change it back to five. Now before he changes his costume, let's put a weight function in. So, not the wait until, here's just wait one second. This is really gonna slow him down. Look at, it's a bit like slow motion I think, right? Look at that, how slow that is. One second is a really long time to wait. Let's change it to like 0.2 seconds. And now we get a much more reasonable pace just by changing how long it is between each costume change. You can make a move faster by increasing the steps or slower, but you can, by varying the wait time between it, you can make him move faster, slower, or faster. 0.1 seconds, see that's a much quicker pace. So that's how you can make a move back and forth easily if you're doing a story, for example. Let's do something else. Let's show you how to move a character like in a game, like you're moving a character around a screen, maybe like a Pac-Man character up and down or right and left. How do you do that? Well, obviously you're gonna have a different event. So you might wanna control your character with the arrow keys. So we might have a right arrow event and a left arrow event. So now we're manually going to control our cat going back and forth. To do that, we just have to change the x. Because the only thing, if we remember coordinates, the only thing we're changing is the x value. So we're going back and forth to the right. If we're going up and down, we're changing the y value. If we're going back and forth here, left to right or right to left, we're changing the x value. So now, when I start it and hit my right and left keys, 
he would just go right. So I have to change this from a positive 10 to a negative 10. So when I hit the right key, he goes right. When I hit the left key, he goes left, right, left. But there's a problem here, right? He's not turning around. So I need to set this point and direction button. So when he points to the right, let's see, well, the problem is he's pointing to the left, right? He needs to point not to the nine, he needs to point to the left when he's going to the left. So now when I run it, when I go to the left, he will point to the left. Of course, now when I go to the right, he doesn't change back to the right, so I need to put that point direction back in there. So now, we have right arrow, he should point to the right, and we have left arrow, he should point to the left. So I'll run it, and there he goes. Now we have a controllable character, and you could add up, down, uh, to do anything you want. You could change his speed You could by taking uh, more or less of these, uh, changing the X or Y value, and that's how we can control his uh, a character on the screen.